fifth round of strikes on Hosei targets, honoring fallen heroes, disrupting Iran's proxy networks. Hello everyone and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we'll be discussing the fifth round of U.S. airstrikes against Iranian-backed Houthi military facilities in Yemen, the release of the names of the two deceased Navy SEALs, and the U.S. Treasury sanctions against Iraqi airways and Hezbollah leaders. The fifth round of airstrikes on Houthi targets in Yemen. On January 22, 2023, the U.S. Central Command, in collaboration with the UK Armed Forces and supported by Australia, Bahrain, Canada, and the Netherlands, carried out airstrikes on eight Houthi targets in Iranian-backed Houthi terrorist-controlled areas of Yemen. These strikes were part of the ongoing international efforts to counter the destabilizing and illegal. Activities of the houses in the region. The targets included missile systems and launchers, air defense systems, radars, and deeply buried weapons storage facilities. These strikes aim to degrade the Houthi capability to continue their reckless and unlawful attacks on U.S. and U.K. ships, as well as international commercial shipping in the Red Sea. Bab El Mandeb Strait and the Gulf of Aden. The U.S. Central Command emphasized that these strikes are separate from the multinational freedom of navigation actions conducted under Operation Prosperity Guardian. The significance of the fifth round of air strikes. The fifth round of air strikes represents a significant escalation in the U.S.-led military. Campaign against the houses. It is the fifth round of strikes in just ten days, indicating the U.S. military's determination to degrade the Houthi capabilities and disrupt their operations. The selection of targets in this round of air strikes is noteworthy. The focus on deeply buried weapons storage facilities suggests that the U.S. is aiming. To disrupt the houses' ability to replenish their arsenal and sustain their attacks, the participation of multiple countries in these airstrikes demonstrates the international community's growing concern over the Houthi threat and their willingness to collaborate in addressing it. The names of the fallen Navy SEALs released. The U.S. Navy has released the names of the two Navy SEALs who were believed to have drowned off the coast of Somalia after falling overboard during an operation. They are Navy Special Warfare Operator First Class Christopher J. Chambers and Navy Special Warfare Operator Second Class Nathan G. Ingram. Chambers, 37, and Ingram, 27. Were highly decorated and experienced seals who had served with distinction in various operations. Their tragic loss is a reminder of the risks and sacrifices made by U.S. military personnel in defending the nation's interests. The release of their names is a gesture of respect and honor for the fallen heroes and their families. It also serves to inform the public about the sacrifices made by the U.S. military in the pursuit of national security. U.S. Treasury sanctions Iraqi airways and Hezbollah leaders. The U.S. Treasury has imposed sanctions on Iraqi airways, its chief executive officer, and three leaders and supporters of the Iranian-aligned Qatayb Hezbollah militia in Iraq. These sanctions are intended to disrupt the financial networks and activities of these entities, which have been accused of providing support to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard, Corps IRC, and its proxy groups in Iraq. The sanctions target Iraqi airways for its alleged role in transporting weapons and personnel to support Iraqi militant groups in the Arjk. The individuals sanctioned are accused of facilitating financial transactions and providing logistical support to these groups.
The U.S. Treasury's actions aim to disrupt the flow of and resources to these designated entities and individuals, thereby limiting their ability to carry out their destabilizing activities in Iraq and the region. The implications of the U.S. Treasury sanctions The U.S. Treasury sanctions against Iraqi Airways and Hezbollah leaders send a clear message that the U.S. is committed to countering Iranian influence in Iraq and disrupting the activities of its proxy groups. The sanctions will likely have a significant impact on Iraqi Airways, potentially leading to disruptions in its operations and financial difficulties. The airline's ability to conduct international flights and maintain its business relationships may be severely affected. The sanctions also serve as a warning to other entities and individuals who engage in activities that support the RGC and its proxy groups. They demonstrate the U.S. is willingness to use economic measures to target those who undermine regional stability and security. Conclusion In conclusion, the fifth round of U.S. airstrikes on Houthi targets in Yemen, the release of the names of the fallen Navy SEALs, and the U.S. Treasury sanctions against the Iraqi Airways and Hezbollah leaders are all significant developments that underscore the U.S.'s commitment to addressing regional security challenges and countering the destabilizing activities of Iran and its proxies. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.